got herself wasted and I was down on the beach trying to help her. Now, everyone wants my head. Well, if you treated people with more respect, they might be more inclined to trust you. Yeah, you're just as bad as everyone else, you stupid old bag. Ha <laughs> proving my point. Well, do you want to talk to me about the incident or not? How about stuff you have? She's pregnant. You always were pretty cluey. But is she going to be okay? Can you at least show me that much? There's other things you need to see first. <laughs> Do I somehow cause Leah's unhappiness? All I can say is that she's going to need you more than anyone else. Be pretty careful about who else you're told. Because some people won't believe you. Okay, well I can't see any reason why you can't use Luke's old room. I'd pay rent. No, of course, of course you no, wouldn't. I insist. Bring everything. Thank you, Liz. Better be. You weren't followed? No. I wasn't followed. I know what I'm doing, all right? Sure you do. The wind looks fine. Very lucky. Extra cause in there if you need it. Where's the grog? You can't drink on these painkillers. You don't make the decisions. You do what you're told. If I ask for something, you get it. Understood? What if the cops find you and you're off your face? How far do you think you'll get then? This isn't just about you anymore. Cops aren't going to find me because you're going to get me into a safe house like we agreed and quickly. I found one. Where? It's risky and you're going to have to trust me. There's no need for trust. You double cross me and I'll tell them all about you. It's as simple as that. Where is it? It's Jack's father's house next door to us. What? Dude, if I have to go, then so do you, all right? Thank you, Drew. Just get yourself lucky you don't have to deal with Bart. <sighs> now get your shoes on. You're going to make us both late. No, knock, knock. Oh, hi, Belle. Hey, have you moved in, have you? Oh, no, I'm just taking little Pip up to the hospital. I'm actually staying over at Roman's because the big house isn't very safe if Johnny's still out there. Yeah, how is Sally doing? She's out of the woods, thank goodness. We're going to be going up there in a minute. That is if I can get the men of the house out to school on time. Yeah, good luck with that. Oi, VJ, hurry up. Hey, hey, shh, you need to be quiet, mate. Colleen's still asleep. She was up all night. She's still like, getting over the shock, I think. I'm just going to check to see how we... It is a madhouse in here. Yes, it is absolutely crazy, which is why I need to get away this weekend. Have you given Campy any more thought? I have... Look, Drew, do you think it's a good idea? You've only just gone back to school. Don't you have homework to do? Oh, I'll do it when I get back. Or I can do it when I'm gone. <laughs> Look, the fuel gauge on my car is still broken. No, no, forget about your car. I'm going to borrow Leah's. Please tell her. Can we make this happen? Please. I had work I was going to do, but okay. Oh, what was... Hey, um, how's Annie? Is she feeling any better? Yeah, she's feeling better. She doesn't remember anything still. But Drew, I've really got to go. What's the rush? Bridget's only going to be a sec or walk with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll miss the bus if I wait for you. It's not like school. I can't afford to be late. I'll see you tonight. See ya. And I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's not as crazy as you might think. No one would expect you to be hiding next door to a cop. Well, because it's a stupid idea. I've set it up. I think I'm using the area as an art space. What does that have to do with anything? Just listen to me, okay? It's separate to the main house. No one else has keys except me. I'll be right next door to make sure nothing goes wrong. It'll work. It's our best option. I suppose it'll have to do then, won't it? Okay. I'll be back to move you as soon as everyone's left the house. You make this work, okay? Because if I go down, you're coming with me. You got it? I'll hide you and I'll get you back on your feet and that's it. You promise me that Jack will never find out about any of this, okay? Never. Yeah, deal's a deal, isn't it? Now that I get to see you. <laughs> hey, you look good considering. <laughs> Just glad to be here at all. You're glad. 
don't know what I'd do if something happened to you. Yeah, she gave us quite a scare, didn't she? Hey, love, I'll cry. I've got treats. Now they're mostly for mummy, Pip, but if you're really lucky, I might even have something for you to do. What do we have? Oh, I bet these are your favourites. They are, aren't they? Belle and I would get along so much better if you came along. Thanks, but I've witnessed you two camp and it is not a pretty sight. Yeah, and that is why I need you there. I feel like a third wheel. Trust me, she'd love it if you came. And don't worry about home. I've got plenty of time. Say we leave this arvo, come back Sunday lunch. Gives us all afternoon to get work done. Yeah, if you're an absolute nerd. We have like three assignments due next week. Bartlett will kill us if we don't get them in. No, he won't. He's just trying to scare us into doing more work. Well, it's working. <sighs> hey, Jeffries, you're walking pretty tall for a gutless wonder. Do you know what I'm looking forward to? Puberty? <laughs> no. The look on your faces when Annie tells the cops what actually happened. It's going to be priceless. We know exactly what happened. Oh, come on. If I'm going to get anyone drunk, it's not going to be Little Miss Sound of Music. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Ignore him. Oi, Jeffrey's your pretty boy. Turn around and man up. Come on. What? What's the what? problem here? No problem, sir. Then keep your voice down. Get to class. Look after yourself and we'll be back tonight, okay? I'll look after her. Thank you so much for looking after the little one too. Oh no, don't be silly. Um, if Sal needs anything, just let me know. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. See you <laughs> So, you're going to tell me what's going on now? Oh, nothing.